Hi, in this video we're going to highlight the differences between the Dyson V10 and the Dyson V11. But first let's talk a little bit about the different models. Now there are three different Dyson V10 models. You've got the Absolute, the Animal, and the Motorhead. We've laid out our Dyson V10 Absolute here, so you can see what you get with that particular model. And let's quickly walk through it. You've got your handheld component. It has the large dust canister. You've got your filter on the back, and you've, of course you've got a battery. This is the wand. Here is the wall mount. It's got room for a couple of tools on the bottom. This is a mini soft dusting brush, crevice tool, combo tool, mini motorized tool. This guy's got a motor in it and it has this uh, bristled brush roll. This is your charging unit and you've got two cleaner heads. This is the torque drive cleaner head and this is the soft roller cleaner head. Now this guy here is the one you're going to use predominantly on carpet and this you'll use predominantly on bare floors. So that's the V10 Absolute. If you buy a Dyson V10 Animal, well, it's quite simple. You do not get this soft roller cleaner head. So what you see here is what you'd get with the Dyson V10 Animal. The V10 Motorhead is a little different from the Animal and the Absolute. Now, we've laid out our V10 Motorhead here. This is the handheld component. You can see that the dust canister is quite a bit shorter than the dust canister in the Animal and the Absolute. You've got the wand, you've got the wall mount, the crevice tool, the combo tool, the charging unit. And this is the one cleaner head you get with the Motorhead. This is a direct drive cleaner head. Now, your Animal and your Absolute had this cleaner head here which is a torque drive cleaner head you can see there is a difference in the size in addition um, the torque drive had this suction slider on the front that opened and closed these two slots um, the direct drive does not have that so how about the v11 well there are three popular v11 models you've got the absolute you've got the torque drive and you've got the animal now the absolute is sometimes a little hard to find in the u.s typically in the u.s you'll find the torque drive in the animal but we're going to walk through all three of them anyhow now we've laid out here our v11 absolute and let's walk through what you get with that so this of course is your handheld component it's got the large dust canister filter battery. Now on the back of this handheld component there is an LCD control panel. Now that allows you to cycle through the different power modes. You can see remaining runtime in each power mode. It'll even show short video clips about how to resolve um, certain issues with the uh, vacuum should they arise like a filter issue or a clog or that kind of thing. Now you've got the wand. You have the wall mount with space for a couple of tools. You've got a mini soft dusting brush. You've got a crevice tool, a combo tool, mini motorized tool. This is a stubborn dirt brush. brush. It's got very stiff bristles. This is the um, wand storage clip. You can put a tool on either side of this and then clip that onto your wand so you're carrying a couple of tools with you while you're vacuuming. You've got your charging unit and you've got two cleaner heads. This is the high torque cleaner head. It's very similar to the uh, torque drive cleaner head we saw in the V10. The only real difference that we could see is that it's got a sensor in it. Well, the uh, V10 uh, torque drive does not have a sensor in it. And we'll talk about that a little later on. Now, this is the soft roller cleaner head. It's virtually the same as the one that came with the V10. So this is what you get with your V11 Absolute. Now, if we're talking about the V11 torque drive, well, the only thing we do here is remove this soft roller cleaner head and this is what you get with the V11 torque drive. Now the V11 animal, step further, we remove the mini soft dusting brush and this LCD control panel on the back, it becomes LED and it doesn't have the fancy graphic interface that you get with the LCD control panel. There are differences between the controls and displays between the V11 and the V10. Now first let's look at the V10. If you want to change the power mode, well you've got a power slider here. You've got low, medium, and max. So your three settings are handled up here. Now just above the battery here in the bottom there are some items that are displayed and uh, we'll zoom in on that and I'll show it to you now. So we can see right above the battery here is a display area. Now, there are three bars for battery. It'll let you know if the battery is fully charged, two-thirds charged, or one-third charged. Now, I'm just going to depress the trigger. 
and we can see that the battery had all three bars illuminated, meaning it's fully charged. There's also a couple of lights over here. One will tell you if there's a clog issue, another will tell you if there's a potential uh, filter issue. Now I'm going to unseat the filter and depress that trigger again. There we go. We can see the filter light blinking. Okay, put the filter back on and it goes away. Now I'll also try to simulate a clog issue so we can see that clog light. There we are. Now this is the clog light blinking. The B11 approaches the controls and displays a little differently. Now if you're charging the unit there is a pulsing blue light down here just above the battery but there is really nothing else here. Everything else resides uh, on the back of the handheld component here. Now, if you've got the V11 Animal, you have the LED control panel. Now, that has three bars for battery to tell you if you're fully charged, two-third charged, or a third charge. You've got two lights that will come on. One will tell you if there's a filter issue. Another will tell you if there's a potential clog. And you have the button here that allows you to cycle through the three power modes. Now, that's the Animal. If you have the absolute or the torque drive, well, you've got the LCD control panel, and that has uh, a fancier graphics interface and with a few more bells and whistles. And we've got a video we're going to cut in here where we walk through some of those things. So this is the LCD control panel. Now we're going to cycle through the three power modes, eco to medium to boost. And you'll also see remaining runtime actually counting down in real time in each of those modes. In addition, we're going to try to bring up a couple of the uh, video clips. So let's start by cycling through the power modes. Eco power mode, 32 minutes, 12, 11, 10. Changes color from green to blue. We're now in medium, 16 minutes, 55 seconds. And we saw boost mode in red there at 3 minutes uh, 40 or so. Um, so that's cycling through the three power modes. Now let's see about those video clips. Now this purple ring around here is your filter. If I unseal that filter, you can see the message filter not sealed. It shows a little video clip of what you need to do to resolve the problem. And if I uh, put this thing back on, it goes away. Now I'm going to try to block the airflow because there's another longer video that shows up when that happens. You can see it's telling us the airway is blocked. Now it's coming up with a potential solution. Empty the dust canister. Make sure there's no blockage there. I think that's supposed to be a pair of glasses. And uh, Look at all these different areas of the vacuum for blockage. When it's finished with this video, it will repeat it again. And I can get rid of that, I think, by just pressing the trigger down, letting it know there is no blockage anymore. And there you go. The V10 has three power modes. You've got low, medium, and max. Your V11 has eco, medium, and boost. Now, Eco and Boost are really just different names for Low and Max. However, your V11 also has something else. When you put that high torque cleaner head on the vacuum, medium power mode is replaced with something called Auto. Now, we're going to cut a quick clip in here where we describe just what Auto Power Mode is. All of the V11s have the Auto Power Mode feature. None of the V10s do. Now, your V11 has three sensors. You've got one in the uh, high torque cleaner head, one in the motor, and one in the battery. Now, the sensor in the high torque cleaner head, it is constantly measuring brush roll resistance. When that resistance increases, well, it compensates by increasing the motor speed. When that resistance drops, well, it drops the motor speed. So typically on carpet, you'll have a higher motor speed and on bare floors, you'll have a lower motor speed. Now, it's important to know that that sensor only exists in the um, high torque cleaner head. If you've got a soft roller cleaner head, it's not in that. If you've got a non-motorized tool, motorized tool, no. Um, none of them except the high torque cleaner head has that sensor. Now, when you put the high torque cleaner head on your V11, the medium power mode automatically switches to automatic. Anything else and it stays medium. Now, we're just going to show a quick clip here of us transitioning from carpet to bare floors and back. You'll hear the difference in motor speed and you will see the difference in runtime appear on the LCD control panel. 
So I'm going to do a little handheld work here. Could be a bit shaky. We're on carpet. We've got the high torque cleaner head auto mode telling us we've got maybe seven minutes or so left. There we are. I'm going to transition forward to tile. Now we should hear the motor drop. There we are. Motor drops down. Now, hey, 15 and a half minutes. Bring it back onto the carpet. There we are. Motor jumps back up down to 7 minutes and 10 seconds or so. In this table, we're comparing the V10 suction to the V11 suction. Now, the figures here in blue are suction in air watts, and these have all been provided by the manufacturer. So let's first look at the V10. V10 in low power mode, 15.8 air watts of suction. In medium power mode, 33.8 air watts of suction. And in max power mode, 151 air watts of suction. Over to the V11, in eco power mode, 26 air watts of suction. Medium power mode, 38.6 air watts of suction. And in boost power mode, 185 air watts of suction. So you can see in each power mode, the V11 is producing more suction than the V10. Now you may wonder why we don't have the auto power mode here for the V11. Well, that's because in auto power mode, the suction varies depending on the floor type. Now a little bit about the batteries. You can see that the battery on the V10 here is quite a bit smaller than the battery on the V11. Now both of them are seven cell rechargeable lithium ion battery packs, but some of the specifications after that are a little different. Let's talk about the V10. It's 25.2 volts, 20.8 amps, 2600 milliamp hours, and 66 watt hours. Over to the V11, again 25.2 volts, but it's 21.6 amps, 3600 milliamp hours, and 91 watt hours. Now, the larger battery on the V11, of course, uh, makes the vacuum of this handheld component weigh a little more. In addition, um, now your, your V10 took three and a half hours to fully charge the battery. Over here on your V11, you're looking at four and a half hours. In terms of air filtration, both the V10 and the V11 have a HEPA filter with a sealed system. The filters are on the back here. They uh, come off very easily. They can be rinsed in water and when they're completely dry, put back in the vacuum cleaner. Um, with respect to the sealed system, well that simply ensures that all the air entering the vacuum um, goes through that HEPA filter before it's exhausted from the machine. Nothing is, uh, no unfiltered air is leaking out through cracks or pore seals in the vacuum body. How about dust canisters? Well, if you've got the V10 Absolute or the V10 Animal, you've got this large dust canister here with a capacity of 0 0.20 gallons. If you've got the V10 Motorhead, now that's this guy here, you can see it's got the shorter dust canister. This has a capacity of 0.14 gallons. And if you've got the V11, now this is the V11 Absolute, the V11 Torque Drive, and the V11 Animal, well, they've all got the large dust canister with a 0 0.20 gallon capacity. Um, so what about emptying these things? Well, they all empty the same way. Now we'll take the V11 here. You've got a red push tab. Push it forward, door opens up, debris falls out, pull it back. Now, we did find our V10 just a little harder to push forward. It was a little stickier than this. I don't know if that was just the result of the one we got or if they're all a little stickier, but the mechanism is essentially the same. We compared the noise levels of the V10 to the V11. Now, we use this digital noise level meter here. We place it three feet in front of the cleaner heads of these machines. Now, in the V10, we had the torque drive cleaner head on. In the V11, we had the high torque cleaner head and these vacuums were in the upright position. They were run for 10 seconds and this device uh, determined the peak decibels. So those were all recorded in this table. So let's take a look. We've got the V10 in low power mode, 63.2 decibels. Your V11, 63.7. So maybe a tiny bit louder in the lowest power mode. V10 in medium, 71.4 decibels. V11, 68.4. So the V11 is a little quieter in the medium power mode. Of course, the V11 in this case would be would have been an auto power mode. V10 in max power mode, 72 and a half decibels. V11 boost power mode, 71.0. So overall, perhaps the V11 kind of edges out the V10 in terms of quietness, at least a little bit. 
Um, but for the most part, we'd have to say that we find both of these vacuums to be fairly quiet, especially if you're comparing them to, you know, larger full-size units. In this table, we're comparing the V10 runtimes to the V11 runtimes. Now, the uh, figures you see here pertain to using a powered cleaner head, and you can see the two cleaner heads on the vacuums. Here, this is the torque drive cleaner head in the V10, and the a high torque cleaner head on the V11, those are powered cleaner heads. If you're using something like, uh, you know, a crevice tool or a combo tool, these are not powered and they will give you different run times than you see here. Now, the figures in blue have been provided by the manufacturer and let's just walk through those. Your V10 in low power mode should be giving you about 35 minutes of run time. Your V10 in medium mode, 20 minutes and in max mode, 6 minutes. Over here with the V11, in eco mode, you should be getting 60 minutes, about a full hour. Now we've used auto mode here, and V11 in auto mode should be giving you around 40 minutes of run time, and in boost mode, six minutes of run time. Now, we've gone ahead and tested each one of these things, and that's your figures in green here. Now what we did was uh, we used these two cleaner heads that you see here, and we placed the vacuum on a piece of medium pile carpet. We ensured that the battery was completely charged. We held the trigger down, used a stopwatch, and we got these recorded run times. So let's start with the V10. Low power mode, we got 40 minutes and 17 seconds of run time, and that's five minutes and 17 seconds longer than the official, so that's pretty good. In medium power mode, 20 minutes, 23, and in max power mode, seven minutes and 14. So each and every tested runtime is higher than the official, which is pretty good. Looking at the V11, in eco power mode, we got 55 minutes and 14 seconds. So it is short of the official, but still, we must say 55 minutes and 14 seconds for a cordless vacuum cleaner is pretty good. Now in auto power mode, we got 44 minutes and 17 seconds. And in boost power mode, we got 12 minutes and 52 seconds, which is miles above the... Um, Official number of six. My personal opinion is it's not that uh, we got a crazy number here, it's that six it's, is too low. We have seen online frequently people getting 10, 11, 12 minutes. Um, so we feel this is probably fairly accurate. Um, so you can see that the V11 run times in virtually every mode are longer than the V10 run times. I wanted to mention that in our runtime tests and our cleaning performance tests, we are using the V10 Absolute. Now your V10 Absolute and your V10 Animal are essentially the same machine, whereas the V10 Motorhead is a little different. It's kind of the odd man out when it comes to the V10s. It's got a shorter dust canister than the Animal and the Absolute. It's got a longer wand, it weighs less, and it uses a different cleaner head than the Animal and the Absolute. So performance could be a little bit different um, we are focused on uh, using the popular absolute animal in those tests. We did some cleaning tests on carpet. Now, of course, with the V10, we're using the uh, torque drive cleaner head. With the V11, the high torque cleaner head. Now, we created our own debris. We measured out very specific amounts of uh, powdered Cheerios, of flax seeds, of chili flakes, and even split green peas. Now, this was all mixed together and put in a five and a half foot long line on this low pile carpet. And each machine was passed over it in all three power modes, and we uh, determined the percentage pickup. Now, we have a quick uh, sample run you can see. These are the results of the carpet cleaning test in this table. So your V10 in low power mode is picking up 94.9% of the debris. Your V11, 96.7%. V10 in medium power mode, 98.5% of the debris, while your V11 in auto mode is 99%. V10 in max power mode, 99.2. V11 boost, 99.2. So in Low and medium power mode, it looks like your V11 is marginally outperforming your V10. In max and boost power mode, it doesn't seem to be making a whole lot of difference. Now, you might get different results if you're working with different debris and on a different surface, but this is indeed what we got with our debris on this particular low pile carpet. 
We also did a similar cleaning test on a hard surface, and in this case it was tile. We used the same two cleaner heads here again, and we'll show a, a quick sample clip. So these are the results of the hard floor cleaning test. You can see the V10 in low power mode, 82.4% pickup. Your V11 in eco mode, 84.4% pickup, so a little bit higher there. V10 in medium, 90.3. V11 in auto, 93.4. Again, a little bit higher. Your V10 in max, 96.3% pickup. Your V11 in boost, 96.0. A little odd to see the V10 higher there, but uh, you know, these numbers are very, very close, and I'm not sure you can read too much into that. Now, we did one other thing. We did a hard floor cleaning test using the soft roller cleaner head. Now, remember, you will get that with the V11 Absolute and the V10 Absolute. So we've got a quick clip of that now. So you can see how effective this soft roller cleaner head is on a bare floor. Now, we only ran the test in low power mode. We've actually recorded the numbers here at the bottom of the table. You can see soft roller cleaner head, low slash eco power. Now your V10 picked up 99.5% of the debris and the V11 99.6% of the debris. Virtually the same. Now it's fairly apparent just looking at the table how much more effective this unit is than these cleaner heads on a bare surface. So let's look at weight. The V10 motor head weighs 5.5 pounds. Now that's the unit on the end, the red one with the shorter dust canister. Your V10 Animal and your V10 Absolute both weigh 5.9 pounds. That's the unit in the middle there with the copper colored wand. Your V11 Animal, your V11 Torque Drive, and your V11 Absolute, they all weigh 6.7 pounds. Now it's actually 6.68, we rounded it to 6.7. The V11 Absolute is the blue vacuum you see right here. Um, so you can see that the V11 is heavier than all versions of the V10. Now, if you're using your V11 in stick mode, in other words, you've got the wand and the cleaner head on, it's, um, it's mostly noticeable up here around the handheld component. I think this is where a lot of the additional weight is concentrated. So if you had a V10 or, or another Dyson stick back previously, you'll notice up here, it definitely feels a little heavier with the V11. In addition, if you're using this unit as a handheld, you will notice it for sure. Um, you know, we've got the bigger battery and everything up here. You could, uh, maybe if you're doing extensive handheld cleaning, you might feel a bit of a strain on your wrist and arm. We've done a little digging around online and come up with prices for all the V10s and V11s. Now, there does tend to be a range in prices and these reflect perhaps the lower end of that range. Now, the V10 Motorhead we're seeing at about 375 US dollars, V10 Animal $450, V10 Absolute $500, V11 Animal $600, and V11 Torque Drive $650. Now, of course, these are kind of current prices. They do tend to go down over time, at least hopefully they come down over time. Now you may notice that the V11 Absolute is not here. Again, it's kind of tough to find in the US, but we've looked on the Dyson Canada site and seen it for 900 Canadian dollars. And on the Dyson UK site, we've seen it for 600 pounds. So that's a lot of information, but at the end of the day, what do you buy? Well, it's not an easy question to answer, so we've created a decision-making table. It's something that's based on our testing and analysis during the course of this video. It is, however, our opinion. It's the kind of thing we might do if we were out there looking to buy one of these vacuum cleaners. But please bear in mind that uh, only you know your cleaning needs, your preferences, and your budget. But having said that, let's take a look at the table. Along the top of the table, you can see the six different vacuum models. To the left of the table, we have the different kinds of cleaning you might be doing, and we have a budget option and a non-budget option. Now, looking at the first kind of cleaning, if you have mostly hard surfaces, well, there's only two models that include the soft roller cleaner head. That's the V10 Absolute and the V11 Absolute. Now, our budget option is the V10 Absolute because it is the least expensive of the two. It's our first choice, our second choice being the V11 Absolute. Now, 
a non-budget option, meaning you don't mind spending a little bit more, well, you might as well get the V11 Absolute. That's our first choice. It's got longer run time, a little more power, more bells and whistles. Our second choice being the V10 Absolute. Now, if you have mostly carpet, or maybe even 50-50 hard flooring to carpet, it's our opinion that it's not critical to have an Absolute model. And our budget option, we kind of like the more affordable motorhead, still pretty good on carpet, pretty good on bare floors. Um, if you don't like that, you could step up maybe to the V10 Animal. That's also going to give you that mini soft dusting brush and mini motorized tool. The non-budget option, well, you can move up to a V11. And we kind of like the V11 Torque Drive, kind of like the LCD control panel. If you don't want that one, you can step down a little bit to the V11 Animal. Remember, your Torque Drive and your Animal essentially will have the same cleaning performance. Now, if you do a lot of handheld work, maybe you do an overhead work with the wand and tools, you're using that handheld component in the house a lot, maybe even to do automobiles. Um, I don't think your V11 here is going to be your best choice because the handheld is a little bit heavy. Now, that leaves the V10s, but you know what? You don't really need that soft roller cleaner head, so that kind of rules out the absolute. Now you're down to the motorhead and the animal, and the motorhead handheld is the lightest and smallest, easiest to work with. We like that in both our budget option and our non-budget option. The V10 motorhead is our first choice, and the V10 animal is our second choice. Hopefully you found all this information helpful. Thank you very much for watching.